Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lukas, I'm a software engineer here at Blazity. So we've all been there, building awesome features, only to find out that they struggle under the load of unoptimized code. But what if I told you that there are powerful, yet often overlooked techniques that can dramatically improve your app's performance, making it feel instant and fluid? In this episode, we'll do exactly that. I will show you and we will dive deep into two game-changing strategies, prefetching and event level optimizations. So you will see how these two, when applied correctly, can transform a slow, frustrating user experience into one that's incredibly smooth and fast. So get ready to boost your Lighthouse scores, build user interfaces that feel instant, and really build Next.js applications that truly fly. Let's get started. So first technique is called prefetching. So how it works is when a link enters viewport, the framework does a background fetch of the data that the route uses. So for example, if I was to go to one of the pages here, in the background, Next.js will do a fetch for the data. But we are using an A tag here instead of the link component that the Next.js provides. This is a common beginner mistake. So let's change it to a link component. Add a prefetch. You don't have to do it, but prefetch set to true uh, sets the prefetching to all the data. So now, oh, if I close it correctly and we do a build. Okay, so the build finished. And now if I go to the web page, I open a network tab and do a refresh. We can see that it already fetches the denim jacket, wireless headphones, sneakers and smartwatch. So now when we go to the page, it loads, loads instantly. So the next technique to improve your navigation speed and user experience is to use streaming or loaders. So what we have here in the example now, if we go to one product, when I clicked it, I waited like two seconds before it showed the product. So this is not really snappy, this is not really smooth. What can we improve? How can we improve on that? is to use the suspense boundary or we can use a special loading file next to the route. So let me create it. Loading TSX. I already prepared some basic skeleton for the page. And now let's do a new production build. So the build finished. We can go into the app again. Let me refresh. Go to the denim jacket. And you see the page is here instantly when I click. And it does a little bit of loading after that. So this is much snappier. So the last thing I want to show on this demo is to use server static site generation. So how it works. Because we fetch the data from the CMS, we already know the data in advance. So maybe we can use the slacks saved in the CMS data to render the pages in advance. So let me show you how SSG works. And if you haven't already, Maybe you can watch our webinar on rendering strategies. So it's very simple. We go to the page uh, of the product and I already have something prepared here. Let me uncomment that. So we first fetch the products and then we map everything into the Slack, into the param we use here. So let me save and let me do a production build again. So now as the build finished, I want to show you something cool. So now when we have the product page here, you can see that every path rendered before. So this is statically generated. There is a HTML file in the files, in your file system, that the server will use to stream in your page. So now if we go to the page again, and we want to go to the product, you see how it's instant. There is no loading anymore. And there you have it. We've gone from a sluggish underperforming application into one that's incredibly responsive and lightning fast. So that was just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more you could learn about optimizing your Next.js applications for peak performance. That's why at Blazity we've put together a comprehensive ebook, the expert guide to Next.js performance optimization. It covers everything from data fetching patterns and image optimization to server-side rendering nuances and bundle analysis going into much greater detail than we could possibly fit into this one video. So ready to take your Next.js performance to the next level? 
you can get your free copy of the ebook by clicking the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button and subscribe for more in-depth web development content. And let me know in the comments, what's your go-to Next.js performance optimization tip? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.